Good day, good day, good day, and hey y'all. Today I'm cutting up the fruit of the week before I get ready to go to physical therapy so it'll be nice and extra cold. So again, today I'm cutting up some honeydew melon and like I said, this is the fruit of the week, the fruit of the week, the fruit of the week. Tuesday just finished physical therapy y'all the class today was awesome I wanted to share with y'all of course you know we have to do the physical therapy part and then we do the class part well today the class part was about dealing with stress anxiety and depression and one of the awesome things that I love about again uh, this rehab therapy that I'm going through with my heart I absolutely love the group that I'm in. You've got younger people, middle-aged people, and then much older people, senior people. And we have really bonded and we share and they, the older people in there give awesome and great wisdom, just, just life wisdom. I just absolutely love it. And so again, one of the things that was brought out in the class, you know, we were all talking about how sometimes we'd be talking to ourselves to get us through from point A to point B. Well, we were talking about that. And then we were talking about how, you know, what do you think people think of you when you talk to yourself or, you, you know, you talk out loud, or you talk to yourself. And one of the men in there said, you know what? When people ask me that, you know what answer I give them? He said, the reason why I talk to myself is because I like having intelligent conversations. I said, I'm going to snatch that one. I love that. But I find myself, as I've gotten older, talking to myself, whether it be around the house, sometimes at work or whatever, is because I'm also working a principle of faith come by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Of course, you know, when I'm studying the word and edifying my spirit, um, I'm still working a principle. You can work God's word and his principle in every area of your life. I don't care if it's cooking a corn dog or cooking a, a pot of greens. If you hear and you have faith and you believe that thing, to come to pass in your life, knowing that you can do all things through Christ who strengthened you. It says, I can do all things. What are those all things? Anything I say, anything I think of, I can do it. Because who? Christ strengthens me to do so. So anyway, I wanted to just share that. That, again, even though 
what I'm going through and what all of us are going through, some every one of us in that class has something in common that we're dealing with concerning our heart. Whether some of us have had open, bypass, open heart surgery, stents, some of them have had uh, full-blown heart attacks and they're still here. Our hearts will go on. So a lot of times when you when, when the word says, speak to speak to that mountain, speak over your life, encourage yourself. That's what you have to be. And sometimes you have to do that audibly. Of course, our spirit man is always there, but speaking audibly, I will live and not die. Thank you, Father God, that my heart will go on. Thank you that my heart is working. It is healed. It is working at the capacity of greatness that you created it to be. So again, think it not strange and don't feel funny if you find yourself talking to yourself because you're not doing anything but working a principle. But like I said, I did want to share that one little tidbit because in our lives, we'll think a lot of things strange. But if it helps us to get from one place to the next and it be successful, then hey, Keep on having those conversations with yourself because you like having intelligent conversations. I absolutely love that. Anyway, y'all, let me go. Um, my reef is ready, so y'all will be seeing that this week. Um, but anyway, I wanted to just share that with you. Sorry that the lighting is going in and out. And of course, I got the power ball back for a while. And then I'll move on to a Nick, another hairstyle. It may be that I've what y'all i told y'all i was going to straighten my hair I, i'm waiting for it to get a little bit warmer but i might do a little trial this coming up weekend but anyway thank y'all so much for encouraging me thank you for reaching out to me privately and letting me know that i've encouraged y'all to start your weight loss journey or your or your health journey um i've gotten a couple of uh private messages through facebook and you know who you are i'm so proud of you uh y'all just keep on keeping on because this it's about us it's about recognizing okay yeah i did things and i created this health issue but thank god thank god that we can still do all things through christ who strengthened us no matter how big that mountain is speak to that mountain if you got a hundred pound mountain speak to that hundred pound mountain that you need to lose if you got a 20 pound mountain that you need to get rid of speak to that 20 pound whatever that is is amen trust god through the process so anyway i love y'all god bless May the peace of the Lord be with you. I'm out. Bye, y'all. <laughs>